Table three, we have three bet versus this non-pro. Some non-pro on non-pro violence. I got... Oh, okay. Good start. Wasn't expecting that. He's picked up some outs in the turn. What's up, everyone? My name is Gary Blackwood. Welcome back to the stream. We're playing on Poker Stars today. We're playing online. 200 Zoom, 500 Zoom, 1K, 2K, whatever we can get into, we're going to play. I'm really excited to be back streaming. Let's check out some hands. This dude, I haven't played with this dude, but he seems like a bit of a loose goose, so I'm going to make a loose goose squeeze, which has backfired immediately. Yeah, that's gone horrendously. Uh, my hand is going to want to see bet sometimes, but not too often. This is a relatively decent board for his rig. With a club, I'd see bet much more often. Table one. We flopped a set in the very first hand. Just kidding. I know it's not a set. I know it's a full house. Uh, table two, just check folding. At uh, table one, we have got a not great turn, but my opponent called relatively quickly. I think he'd think about it with ace, deuce, and six, seven. So I think we just continue to barrel. Uh, relatively decent run out. Gonna have a decent number of bluffs here. Some ace x, some queen deuce. Jack six, the list goes on. Yeah, I think just a generic 77% looks good. Sorry, 71%, I should say. Table three, we have three bet versus this non-pro. Some non-pro on non-pro violence. I got, oh, okay. Good start, wasn't expecting that. He's picked up some outs in the turn and he's re answer table one we are going to defend here and flop a whole lot of nothing but my hand is definitely going to want to continue i think so let's call table two we have led out from the big blind versus the cutoff after the flop goes check check and table one this is a nice bet from my opponent designed to make hands like this fold which i will do table three i have chosen the three bet and been shoved on this is a disaster session so far table two do we want to bluff I think mixing on the river is the play here. A diamond is preferable to block his blockers. My random number generator says, Gaz, come on, you've lost enough so far. Don't bluff the river. Right, table one. We are over bet C betting blind versus blind. It's all happening. I have missed this. I have missed being down two buy-ins after 10 minutes and all that jazz. I table two, my opponent is deep in the tank. Is he going to bluff his hand? He checks back with a pair and a flush draw seems reasonable. He was going to jam on me if I bet 100%. Uh, table one, we have overbet, see bet the flop. This is not the worst turn in the world for us. We have a lot of hands like this that want to bet. So I think our hand is going to want to bet sometimes. I'm really curious about this. I'm going to simulate it later. A lot of our range is sort of revolving around just above the eight. So I think cards that are just above the eight are pretty good for us. Over here, I'm going to use a half pot C bet and I'm going to bet my hand 100% of the time. It's table two, we've been four bets. Let's call. Oh, look, we missed. Check. Uh, over here on table three, we've C bet the flop. I think I'm going to use 75% on the turn. Checking the ace queen, of course, too strong to bluff. I'd be bluffing a lot of 10 highs and jack highs with the ace queen uh, on this 6-5 deuce board. Uh, table three, that is a clean river. Uh, just checking down here with the ace queen. I expect to lose the ace king a lot. Table three, let's overbet. I actually think we're supposed to play jams here, but I think this player is going to think that I'm too value heavy with my jams. So I'm just going to bet this list. I had table two, we won. Huzzah. <laughs> table three, my opponent folds. Right, couple of things going on. Need to just chill out for a second. Table one, calling multi-way here. Very fun, fun player in the big blind. Give me a six. How about two of them? How about Quadzilla? Uh, table two, gonna call this three bet. It's kind of disappointing that I didn't flop quads with Ace Jack. It's kind of like, well, the bar has been set. Come on, Nabsu, just have a fucking pair of fours in your hand. Pair of fours in the hole, my friend, one time. Right, I'm gonna call, rep them pocket fives, call kind of quickly. Uh, table two, gonna call, pray for the Queen of Clubs. It's not the first turn in the world. I can beat some stuff now. What up, dog? Good to see you streaming. Thank you very much. Massive dildo. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, when I call here, I just get the megaphone out that I've got a six or better. 
I actually think this is really thresholdy. I would probably call Ace Queen versus this size, but I think Ace Jack would just have to pitch. Call with the sixes. I have A6 suited, uh, which is like my only bad hand on that river. What's he got? What's he got? Queen's clean turn bet, mate. As we raise here, we raise here, and we raise here. Good start on table three with the Jack-10 of hearts. I'm going to bet half pot versus this player. And table two, we get a decent flop after my opponent folds here. Let's go with one third with the aces, betting them always. I'm not entirely sure what my range looks like there. Um, on the turn here, a lot of people seem to check way too much on flush completing turns and not just check our entire range. All uh, right, do we want to shove the river? I think versus this player, the answer is yes. I think this player is very good. I used to think he was very bad, and then I was like, no, you're just mad that he stacked you that one time. And I think we just want to shove the river here and try and get called by Queen. We lose to a bunch of stuff, obviously, but I think uh, he's going to call a lot with the Queen. He does make the fold. Interesting spot on table one. I have three bet pre-flop. The big blind is called... And the button is called. Flop is gone. Check, check, check. I think I'm going to bet a size that just makes sure they don't fold an ace. I think I'm going to go for some weird scrolly 40%. I don't think the big blind's ever folded an ace, but I think if you bet two thirds, the button just like laughs and folds like ace three of diamonds. At table two versus Psy Fiasco. Simon, for somebody who runs so bad, that's a pretty big stack. I'm just saying. I am the worst friend in the world. The dude is literally running the worst he's ever run in his life. And he's getting needled by me in the chat box. Sixes are hot tonight, boys and girls. I've also snap-checked the flop because I'm streaming. This is a spot where two years ago we all snap-checked the flop, but we want to play some leads here. And top set very much wants to lead, at least at some frequency. Now we should just lead out on the turn, right? Wrong. This player is a good player and is going to check back the queens, kings, and aces in his range at the right frequencies, which means he still has a lot of strong hands in his range, plus a lot of turn top pairs, which means we want to get sexy in check raise. Not just a case of, well, my opponent's checked back, he has nothing. He's supposed to see about this board at a very low frequency. I'd estimate like 30% or something like that, which means he is still going to have all the strong hands in his range. But we absolutely want to check raise the turn. The solver is going to check call sometimes, but that's the end of playing like the solver. We're now playing like the man who has a set of sixes and wants to get paid. He has some check back straights in his range, but if he's got that, then he's got that. That is a fucking annoying river. Uh, my bluffs are kind of... Well, I got some 7x, I guess. Interesting spot on table 3. My opponent's 3-bet pre-flop and check the flop to me. I have checked back. And on the turn, I have turned 2 pairs. I shall be going for it. Table 1, my opponent is thinking about it. To find bluffs here. He has a decent amount of 5x. We do block some of his 5x in the form of 6-5 um, suited. I'm actually going to set out these other tables so I can really think about this spot. Table 3, I think we're just going to bet the size. And table 1, we're going to think about it. Well, the types of hands that he could be bluffing with here. Missed hearts, not unreasonable. You don't tend to bluff your missed flush draws, but this is a reasonable spot to do it. I've just realized I'm, I'm going to time out. I think I'm going to be a good boy and fold. Getting an amazing price there, but I think maybe just folding the river is okay. This is fucking gnarly. My opponent has three red pre-flop. Check the flop. Check called the turn. And is now check shoving the river. Kings and queens with a spade. King queen with a spade. I think my hand's a little too strong here. I think we're going to find... Yeah, I think call this one. 10 nine of spades. What a whale you are, man. What a whale you are. Table two, gonna bet my hand 100% of the time. We've been three bets. It's a pretty large three bet as well, as well it should be. I think we're just gonna play calls only here. Nine of hearts, dealer. It's an upside down nine of hearts. Uh, table two, don't love this versus pot, but obviously I have to call in position. That's a fun river. Again, kind of tough to find bluffs here for my opponent if he shoves the river. Hands like queen eight. Makes some sense. Some four X. Hands like five four are going to want to shove. I think this is going to be a chop, you know. 
Nope, just rivered the nuts. Rivered the nuts and dropped me. He didn't drop me. He tried to drop me. Table two, we have queens. A fair few times. Um, this is this is tough today. This is tough. We have to call. Don't love it. I would prefer not having a spade. Like heart club would be better to block the king. Heart diamond would actually be best. Really don't love this, but have to call at least one. Gonna just check this one back. But here's a lot of hands that are gonna check raise the flop and then check the turn that are now gonna bluff the river. Targeting my 9x, my 10s, my jacks, and so on. I really don't love this, but I think call. Yeah, fuck it. You've got me, you've got me. Yeah, a lot of hands like that in his range that are going to take this line. I think it's a really nice line for my opponent. And I think queens are really marginal there, but I uh, I don't mind a call. Uh, scores on the doors. We are still losing $1,000. I was down a little more than that. Uh, table one, it's been a minute since we've peeled out a, a pair on stream and flop the set. Is this this time? Nine of clubs, ace of hearts, six of diamonds. Just got a fold, right, guys? Wrong. Three of hearts, really nice hand to have here, which means we block a little more ace x in the form of ace three offsuit. So let's get sexy. We're going to want to raise ace nine, ace six, pocket nines, pocket sixes. We have some seven, eight. We also have ace queen at low frequency as well. And I think we're probably going to raise hands like Ace Jack of Clubs at some frequency. This might get snapped off, but that's okay. I am kind of tempted not to bluff the river. He's called relatively quickly on the turn, which sort of indicates that he is very comfortable with his hand. Uh, let's spin for it. Find the jam. Yeah, it did kind of feel like he was going to snap after he called relatively quickly on the turn. But what can you do? Yeah, I think versus Quar Paul, we probably have a call. <laughs> right, we'll let him go get his dinner. Table one with the king eight suited. Going to call. Flopping second pair. Well, let's call. Lovely river. And I think my hand is going to want to uh mainly check sometimes bet small and a tiny bit bet big i think i'm gonna go with bet small this time and juice the raise and then obviously we ship it in that was the raise that we had hoped to induce uh we have to turn some of our queen x into a bluff here it's as simple as that Huzzah! We won one, guys. We won one. Huzzah! Uh, over here on table four, this is the 5-10 table. We have open pre-flop and flop top pair. Bet this size with this hand. I accidentally scrolled down. There we go. Decent-ish turn. I don't mind mixing on the turn. Uh, actually, no, I think just bet turn always and then decide on the river is the play. I really don't mind just exploitatively betting like $75 here. We've got that as the best hand really often. Not a thing in a in theory land. Okay, when he doesn't jam, I'm kind of a little happier calling. Yeah, I think I'm going to call him. Yeah. Nice read from me. Really, really gross spot. Over here, we've defended big blind versus cut off. We've checked the flop. We've checked raised the flop and then we've checked called the turn. We're very high up in our range here. Oh, this is really gross. Oh, that's such a tight fold. At table three, we've defended the big blind. Absolutely want to play some leads here. Mainly, yeah, all these like queen tens and jack tens and jack nines with a spade. And then on that turn, which is not an amazing turn for us, um, we want to really continue with equity in the form of like queen six, jack four, spade draws, diamond draws, some nine eight, the list goes on. I think our hand is going to bet the turn sometimes, but really infrequently. And then I'm going to find this little one third bet, see if I can make him full days high. We're, we have a lot of seven X, which is going to take this line. I think queen 10 is a nice candidate to put into our 
lead the flop, check the turn, block the river size. He's got a lot of hands like Ace King, which call flop, and then just can't, well, will fold the river at some frequency. So a nice example of how we use blocks with our bluffs as well. There's a podcast with him with the wacko for Cyanide too. Oh, sick. Table two, we have called a three bet. We have check called flop. We're going to check called turn. Give me a 10, nine or spade. One time dealer. There you fucking go. He's going to snap check back now. Watch this. I mean, he's certainly capable of having a flush here. Absolutely capable. But I'm going to do my I have the best hand dance and call. Just having a wee look to see any chats from Simon Dripper. Nope, nothing in the Twitch chat from Simon Dripper. Nope, nothing yet. I'm sure if he had ace four of spades, he'd be sliding on in there. Still, still nothing, guys, from Simon Dripper in the chat there. <laughs> if you guys are looking for some YouTube content and you haven't found my channel yet, give me a sub. I got a prop bet if I can get to a million subs before Brad Owen does, I win $100,000. I bet $2,000 on myself at 50 to 1. Uh, it's not versus Brad Owen, it's versus my friend uh, JP from New Jersey. Um, and I made the bet and then I, I hadn't, I don't think I'd released a YouTube video yet. This was just at the very beginning. And then I put a YouTube video out and I got like six new subs. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I put another one out and got eight new subs. And then I put another one out and got no new subs. And I was like, this is a fucking really hard. So if 990,000 of you could go sub on YouTube, I'd win a 100k. I right, tell one three bang, this ace king. And call in the jam. Okay, I see got aces. How's it? I'm using my one time here, all right? I, you all get one, one time, one time in your life. I'm using my one time, one time here. Queen? No. No one time. Uh, table one, mainly a four bet, but sometimes calling. This will be a call this time. And what do you know? The one time I don't peel it out, we flop top set. The call here, we're just going to do the whole, oh, I've got ace 10 suited with a backdoor flush draw. What do I do? And then call. Nice turn for us to get paid on. 500 best quarter pot, really nice. This is a rainbow board, so it's tougher for us to have bluffs here. Although, I guess we could raise some 10, 9, queen, 10. I'm gonna sim it there. And we no longer have the effect of nuts. I mean, obviously we were losing to aces, but we're now losing to a bunch of straights as well, is what I'm trying to say. We're gonna have some bluffs here, some jack 10. Hands like that, which are going to be forced to turn themselves into bluffs. Hands that are now third pair, essentially. People don't find them. <laughs> But in theory, we do have them. Amore mio! How's it going? Table three. Don't have to be folding here. Can we find a five on the flop? Ace of spades. Six of hearts. Six of diamonds. And table three. Going to check. Call. Kind of feels like my hand is now weak enough to bluff on this king turn. It's not the reason that we check call flop. I just wonder if my hand now wants to turn itself into a bluff. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. We hard block ace five as well. I think this is okay. I really don't mind turning my hand into a bluff here. But then again, if people are just in there calling the king seven offsuit, it's like, why do I fucking bother? Nice hand. Anyway, table three, defending the six three suited, flopping well. Would play leads here versus under the gun and maybe MP, but not versus the cutoff. Question is, do we want to raise? I think the answer is sometimes. As in, like, quite a lot. Not always, I don't think, but quite a lot. I think pot turn is the play on this turn. Maybe even over bet. I think it's six and two, three. Uh, I, th I, I like the line of just bet turn, shove, safe rivers. It seems like a very, very reasonable run out for us to go for value here. There are players in the pool you can just over bluff versus, but there are players like Jungle Roars that you can, like, go for thin value and they'll call life is always nice and i assume we have the best hand there uh, my bluffs here four three four deuce queen five of hearts all these types of hands six three is a little thin but i think it's the, the cusp of our value region there table three here we've got pocket aces we have four bet versus the small bind in the cutoff a pretty safe flop we're gonna bet just under 25 percent pot Pretty clean turn. I am going to bet the turn. He does a decent amount of folding now. He's got eights, nines, tens, um, king, queen of diamonds type hands. We also block ace, queen of diamonds ourselves, which really sucks. It's all happening. Table two, three bet three. We bet flop. That is a pretty nice turn. Uh, 
I don't think our hand ever wants to shove here. I think we want to... Yeah, I think block call is the play here. I just want to get the size right. Bear with me one second. I really don't love it if he shoves. He has a lot of flushes, obviously, still. But I think with the Queen of Clubs, I think we have to bet call. Okay, what do we want to do? We three bet pre-flop. We bet half pot on the flop. We bet 75% on the turn. And now my opponent has shoved. Type the number one into chat if you want to call. And type the number two into chat if you want to fold. I think I'm going to call. I think I'm going to stick with what I said. This player is relatively decent. Plays pretty well. Relatively aggressive. Aggressive stats on the river. And we have the Queen of Clubs in our hands. So I think call. What can you do? What can you do? Bit of an annoying one. Table one. Now we are supposed to four bet these jacks sometimes, and we have found the four bet. I have to call it off versus a jam, of course. My opponent calls himself. That is a decent ish flop for our jacks. And I'm praying he just shoves a hand like pocket tens. Uh, right, table one, my opponent has now led the turn. I guess just shove. Yeah, I think just shove is the play here. I don't think shovels work. Table one. Boys are back in town. Oh, yes, they are. Okay, let's make it that size. Table three. Gonna bet the Jack 10. I hope the recreational player folds and the reg shoves. Actually, fuck it. I hope they both shove. I'm a greedy bastard. And they both fold. I get exactly what I fucking deserve there. Uh, table two, going to open the tens. And four betting them really infrequently, like 20%, not 59%, like my RNG said. Let's call. Boys and girls, let's peel it out. Three of spades, eight of clubs. Ace. The AI flop wouldn't have been the end of the world, but the ace is a little less appealable. I cannot wait. World Series is going to be amazing this year. Uh, calling one with the pocket tens. And I am A-OK -okay just folding the turn. My opponent likes to check. I will check back. I think my hand is too thin to value, but I think checking is the play there. Uh, table one. Happily check calling versus the small size. He has a lot of hands like Jack 8 of Diamonds and stuff like that, which we're going to check raise. Obviously, we lose to Jack 8 of Diamonds, but we're not doing too badly versus it in position. So happily bet calling, turning a bunch of equity here. I think I raise versus this small size, you know. Yeah, I think I raise here. This very much feels like a nine uh, or something similar. I don't think he's ever going to take this size with a four. Can we find a four on the flop? Ten of clubs, seven of hearts, king of diamonds. Uh, did a little bit of work on these small blind versus big blind three bet pots from the point of view of the small blind. And we are supposed to call down a little more liberally than I realized with these middling pocket pairs. But not on king ten seven, I don't think. I don't think our fours want to be calling down that much. On like king seven deuce, perhaps with those middling pairs, but not on King 10-7, I don't think. That's a fun river. And I think just 75% as my go-to size here. I was going to bet the river if the river was a brick. So, yeah. Good thing we made a set. He had ace-five offsuit. Seems fine. Right, bear with me one second here. Let's close down Poker Stars. And let's open the whiz. First hand of note. Look how many hands I've got saved from there. From Gado. Right, first hand of notes. Um, cut off. We had king queen offsuit and we raised in the cutoff. The big blind called. Flop came down. Jack of diamonds, ten of spades, four clubs. Big blind checked. I am just betting one third with my range. There's a bunch of different ways you can play these double Broadway boards. Um, betting big and being polarized is fine. Or betting. Oh, hang on one second. Put myself down here. Or betting small and frequent is fine as well. So I bet one third. My opponent raises. He raises to a large size as well. He should. 
Get Ace Queen. We call. Turn is the six of hearts, and my opponent pots it. Do we call with King Queen offsuit? Absolutely. We're supposed to play some shoves here. I'm a little surprised by that. Sorry, no, I'm not surprised about that. What am I talking about? I'm surprised by the fact we're supposed to shove ace 10. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we call turn. And the river was like the king of spades or something. And my opponent had ace queen and elected to check. I'm a little surprised that the solver wants to check so much here with ace queen. But hey ho. I assume we just always snap check back. Yeah, okay, cool. Nice hand by us. Okay, this is the fun. This is one of the fun ones. So we defended a three bet small blind versus big blind. Check raise flop. Bomb turn, shoved river. I'm going to open it up and hold the manager here. One second. Let me find it. Uh, scores on the doors, by the way. We finished down $1,600. It's not the end of the world. I stacked way more times than stacking opponents. Anyway, this is the hand. So we have called a three bet. Actually, let's get rid of HUD. And our opponent is called. Flop is eight of hearts, nine of clubs, six of diamonds. Post the dinner on Insta. I'm trying to see something. Sure, I'll do that. Ace of hearts, nine of clubs, six of diamonds. Oh, that's for fuck's sake. Bear with me one second here, guys and girls. Come on. Ace of hearts, nine of clubs, six of diamonds. Small blind checks. Big blind bets, one third. And small blind check raises with the threes. I decided to check raise with the heart a little more because we blocked more ace three offsuit combos. Well, I guess it's kind of marginal. Uh, in terms of suited and offsuit. But we are supposed to raise our pocket threes sometimes. I like to raise what combo of threes have I got again? I've got three of hearts, three of diamonds. Uh, so we raise. Uh, my opponent calls. Turn is the queen of diamonds. Do our pocket threes continue to barrel? The answer is yes. I'm going to remind myself what we got. Three of hearts, three of diamonds. Yeah, seems fine to continue to barrel. Which I did elect to do. Half pot, good size. My opponent calls. Then the king of diamond, king of hearts on the river. I decided not to pure bluff my hand. Uh, but the solver does just shove it in relentlessly. And you might think this is really spewy. You know, what are you trying to make fold? But the reality is, our opponent, let's look at all the ace x in our opponent's range uh, that arrived to the river. All the one pair hands ace five, ace four, ace three, ace ten, ace jack, ace seven. And then when you've got all the offsuit combos, it's a very reasonable spot to just go ahead and shove, and we'll see a lot of folds um, from the big blind here with a lot of their ace x. I think also the big blind will fold more like ace jack and ace 10. Are we supposed to raise jack 10 suited on the flop? No. So their ace jack and their ace 10 don't block too many nutted hands here. So yeah, a nice hand from Hero, which is nice. I thought maybe it might look a little punty to you guys, but happy that it was not. Right, let's do one more and then I'm going to go cook dinner. Yeah, this pocket jack's hand, I'm really curious to see. So this is the hand we've opened in the cutoff. Uh, cutoff raises, small wine raises. I spun for a 20% four bet. Fucking nailed it because I'm lord of the frequencies. When it calls, we get eight of hearts, six of hearts, four of clubs. Well, how big did I bet? One third? We might have to AI this one. Well, that's actually supposed to lead here. I'm really surprised by that. I thought uh, leading on some like nine, eight, seven and stuff, but eight, six, four apparently is a lead for the small blinds. Oh, no, I think I've. Yeah, okay, that's what the issue is. There we go. I was very surprised by that for a second. Okay, small blind is now range checking as expected. And we are betting about 70% of the time with our range. Actually, checking jacks a little bit. I'm a little surprised by that. I thought we'd be betting our jacks virtually always. Um, what combo of jacks have we got? I don't think we have a heart. Yeah, spade club. 
by the by, we want to do a decent amount of betting with our jacks. Now, I bet one third. We'll just say I bet quarter pot. My opponent calls. And the turn is a seven. Leading here, I think, is not unreasonable for the small blind in hindsight. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. It is a decent-ish turn for their range. They have 10-9 that we don't have. They have eights. They have sevens. Uh, we have a sliver of both, but nowhere near as many as the small blind does. Um, so he leaves for 20%, and our black jacks... Mixing, calling, shoving, it's not a disaster to do either, to be honest. I think both options are completely fine uh, with the black jacks. Yeah, calling is fine, shoving is fine. I just wonder if we call and then the river's like the deuce of spades and he shoves. I imagine never folding. Uh, it's kind of, nah. But not folding. Um, This is the crux of it all. My opponent is supposed to lead here with hands like um, ace-queen and ace-jack and ace-king and king-jack and king-10. I don't think people do that. I think people are going to be much more weighted towards value. So I think actually, as disgusting as it is, call turn fold river is the play there. I think that's the most opt op optimal option. All right, that will do. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you very much to everyone who has done so. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.